What is up everybody, my name is Nick and welcome to my new video of Grow Castle. Um, today I'm going to be doing a build, a gold, a gold farming build, sort of tutorial and discussion. I've had a few people ask me to do videos on individual heroes and builds and such because just looking at a, a photo in the Discord or a screenshot in the Discord is a little ambiguous. Um, so hopefully this will shed some light on on what you do so basically the objectives of gold farming build is to maximize your gold per hour uh and waves per hour because the the root of this game is is gold you want to get anywhere you need to upgrade your heroes that gets very expensive prestige leveling is around seven trillion gold per hero um I don't know, you saw how quickly I went through gold in my spending 2.1 trillion video. It took like 20 minutes and it was all gone. So, basically, what... I'm not going to watch that. Ad. Um, it was 450 million. These are the core items that I use. I swap this uh, worthless coin out for bronze piece if I'm not using paid auto battle. And if I'm manual waving, I'll put in strange chest. This is what I use. Um, now, depending on your hero level, your wave, that sort of thing, you may want to swap the horn out. You may not be able to do waves. I've only just been able to add this back in since the update because I was getting absolutely smashed. Um, and if you are failing waves, swap the, the horn out for the power glove and that should push you over the edge. Now the other weapon option, because we're using Golden Heart, is Thornbow, which adds critical chance, just a little bit of critical chance, 5% to your heroes. Um, and if you're running the gold tower like I am, that just gives them a little bit of extra gold. They get the gold on kill, which means they get 15% extra gold per kill and they get the 10% bonus gold so you know it's one and a quarter kills basically for every kill the wizards get the other thing you're going to want is military band mail obviously because of 35% bonus gold that's pretty much you can't you can't run it without that you need that gold you need the trophy um, I use the golden tree it works out to about 5% gold overall. It's 15, 16% of a wave's gold every three ish waves. Um, and I also use mine. Now, I don't use Tony because I'm not wasting gold leveling him and he doesn't do that much damage anyway. Um, as for the other heroes, the only ones that are really, I'd, I'd really say, a core would be Necro. Um, White Wizard, Pure Wizard, whatever promotion you've got, Smith 2, and at least the Dark Elf and Dark Ranger. Um, depending on what waves you're on, what level your heroes are, and that sort of thing, how you can kill waves. Um, you might have Witches running instead of the Wizards, which is fine. You might not use Assassin, you might have um, Bishop in instead of Assassin or something, which, if it works for you, it's good. I think assassin is objectively better well i don't think i know um mathematically assassin is, is better than bishop but you might not use it and that's that's cool as long as you're killing waves you might use all copter instead of windy i know i did for a bit last night and it works well as a wall it doesn't really do that much damage though um you know you could use mechram you could use Paladins, you could use Druid. I know uh, Druid is really good if you're AFK waving. Um, as for the other towers, yeah. it's the, the Zeppelin and the flying mobs are the things that give you the most trouble. So I've gone for Turret and uh, Thunder Tower because they both attack air. I've also gone. Um, Archery range and hero guild, just because they're the best options. Um, I've swapped spring water for mine. Um, now, 
you're obviously not going to get the level of gold I get per wave, but basically what you what you want to do is maximize your waves per hour, okay? So that's not an average, that's high. My average is about 97 million. Um, so, you know, 97 million times 103 waves is what I'm happy with, is 9.991 billion gold per hour. Um, I'm not doing that at the moment, I'm only doing 87 waves because there's a few bugs that need to be fixed out with um, mob damage and it's it's a bit slower than it was prior to the update. Um, realistically you want you want to you want to do this to maximize your gold. Um, I, I'm trying to say something and I don't actually know because I'm tired. Um, yeah, basically what you want is all of those items. You want to kill waves within 36 seconds, 35, 36 seconds. Average, some waves will be longer, some waves will be shorter, you know. I get a few that are 25 seconds, I get a few that are 42 seconds, but the average should be 35, 36 seconds, just so you hit that mark. Um, and that will result in the most potential gold per hour. Now obviously you're going to get to a point where you're not going to be able to run all these items anymore. Um, it happens, I have to swap out of gold build for skipping, I have to swap to this, which has virtually no gold items, in fact it just has the tree, it doesn't even have military bands because I, I can't skip with this build at the moment, I'm still tinkering with it. Um, and you're probably going to have to do the same, or you're going to have to cut back and sacrifice a little bit. Order of sacrifice, I'd get rid of the mine first. Uh, actually, I'd get rid of the horn first, followed by the mine. And then if you still need more damage, I'd swap the mine for, um, I don't know, tower, spring water, whatever, you, whatever you're using, really. If your castle segments and your towers are high level, probably put tower in. Um, if your heroes do most of your damage, or you need... 15% extra cooldown, put the spring water in. After that, if you can't, if you still can't do the waves, then you, you probably need to fix your build because you should easily be able to do standard waves with gold bar, either bronze piece or golden heart, and military band and the golden trophy. And there's no other towers that really contribute that much to waving. Um, you know, I mean, cannon can be okay, defensive barracks can be okay, but they're not good. Um, frozen tower is a utility tower, you don't really want to slow mobs, you want to get the wave done as quickly as possible. Burning tower as well, not great. Um, also, if you can use solar, I'd use solar over this, I've had to swap back to zero because my solar gets one shot by the zeppelins. But, basically, you just want to quickly finish the waves without failing any in like any at all to maximize that wave per hour for your guild and to maximize your gold per hour because the more waves you do the more gold you get um, now if you're watching ads you can expect about twice what your non-farming gold count is um, so for me it'd be I get about 8.6-ish billion per hour at the moment, maybe 9 billion per hour at the moment. Um, so I'd be looking at 18 to, to 20, really. Um, anyway, hopefully this has cleared it up a little bit. Pretty much, just, just to summarize, use whatever heroes work for you, as long as you have the core gold items equipped, um, you should be fine. If you're not fine, swap out the mine, swap out the horn, maybe even turn off your 30% horn if you've bought that. Um, just the, the sacrifice as little as possible while keeping the most gold gain possible. You might you might not even use golden tower. I know it doesn't add a lot. It adds a minuscule amount, especially at my level. But you know, every every little bit counts. You can swap that out actually for. Um, 
the shield castle if you need a little bit more defense or the baluster if you want a little bit more damage it's really up to you just make sure you keep the core items and the core heroes which is you know necro obviously smith obviously um, dark ranger and dark elf for your healing and for your zergin of boss waves which is every five and zero wave and you probably want some cooldown from your wizard and the military band everything else is pretty much interchangeable whatever works for you works for you stick with that don't go out of your way to upgrade new heroes just to copy this build it may not work for you um and it will be a massive waste of gold which you could otherwise spend on you know maxing your dark ranger or something Anyway, that's it. I'll probably do, I might do another video tonight um, on the archers. It depends how I feel. I might do one tomorrow. I'll try and get them done relatively quickly. I noticed I'm close to 100 subscribers, so if I start stepping up the content, maybe I can actually, you know, get 100 subscribers. Cool. Thanks for watching. Peace.